students how are you all hope everybody is fine right so today we are back again with one more hr question that is How long can you give services to a company or organization? So this is the question. So what kind of answers you need to give this kind of questions? And what they are going to expect from you? What is the best answer that you can give in order to get a place in that particular company for the job role that you have applied for? So what will be the answer now? So what is the back question for this question actually? what they really wanted to know from you and how you are going to explain them about you that how how far you can able to give these services to their organization the first thing is your passion true or faith that means whether you are faithful towards your job that you really have come here in order to do, do that particular job role or not or in order to get rid of that or you have simply have come if you one of your friend have been supposed or anything in order to apply for this particular role but if you do have a clear information regarding the job that you need to do in the job description that that they have been given for you so if you do have a clear information regarding that so if you can able to come into a company or come into an organization how much time you will be taking in order to be in a company and how faithful you are towards your job and how you are going to collaborate with us and how you are going to enhance your skills by joining in a company and how the skills that you have evolved the skills that have evolved as per the company's needs you will be bringing it to the company's achievements as well as for the company's growth. So how are you going to answer this? The thing is whether you are passionate about this, that particular job role or not and how much faithful you are towards your job. So what will be the answer then? And how are you going to explain then? And what will be they are expecting from you? And which answer might be very useful for you to portray about yourself? And which answer grabs the attention of yours? What will be the best thing? So, just think for a while. Let me know that. How you are going to perform that? And what is the best answer? And how you are going to bring the answer from inside of yours? And how logical you are able to think? And they also need that. What, why the reason HR questions are in order to decision making and in order to problem solving and in order to logical answers in order to in order to give an example for these three things they will be asking this kind of questions so that is the main reason apart from the technical skills these are the another questions this is one another level in order you to get placed in that particular company so that is the main reason whether you can able to be a problem solver or not or decision maker or not logical thinker or not so basing on this they will be able to ask this kind of question so you need to answer Basing on the need. So what is the best reason in order to prove that you are a logical thinker? That you can able to think outside of the box. That you can able to give a good answer in order to get placed in that. So what will you able to give? What kind of answer you will be able to give them? So think for a while for that. Meanwhile I will be 
be writing the answer? Yes. Now, I think hope everybody can see the board clearly. Yes, I have not just come here to fill a seat for you for few years. I just want to build a long term relationship or partnership with your company. Why? I just want to be an integral part of your company. What is meant by integral part of your company? Sorry, integral part of your team. The integral part is nothing but he wanted to be a crucial person. In order to, in order for getting a success of the teams. If the team is winning, if the team has won with any project work or with any seminar or with any development program. So, he will be playing a crucial part in that. He wanted to be the first person. He wanted to take all the responsibilities in that. So, that is the thing. I And I want to be an integral part of your team and then on and contribute in the company's growth and success that lasts at least for 5 to 7 years. So, you will be telling indirectly that I will be staying at least 5 to 7 years in your company. So, don't ever say directly say that I will be like giving my services up to 5 to 10 years and I'll be, be in a CEO position and I'll be in a higher position. Don't give a simple one word answers. If you really want to become in that position, if you really want to take their position, you need to give a particular explanation regarding that so that they can able to understand what are the things that you have involved regarding this, what are the things that you have included in this. So they'll be able to understand. So don't give an easy answers while you are expressing, while you can express about your thoughts, while you express about your ideologies, anything. Try to give an example. Try to give a reason for that. See here, you have explained that you can able to stay at least for 5 to 7 years. When? If there is a company's growth and success. And that is also is in your hands that you are explaining very clearly regarding that. Clear everybody? So don't ever give an one word answers. I just want to be for this to this many years in your company. So within these years, I'll be definitely be a CEO for this company. Or I'll definitely be a HR for this company. So don't ever try to give those kind of answers. I have already said how you're going to be a clear problem solver. And how you're going to be a decision maker. And... As comparing to the outside 50 members, how you are going to stand out for your performance? How you are going to think outside the box as by being a logical thinker? So these are the main strategies that how you need to answer and how you need to perform here.
So I'll be writing some more thing. Meanwhile, I want you to think for another answer. Yes. Now, can you able to see the board? I just want to make a commitment that I just want to make a commitment to your company that if you can hire me, I can able to take all the work. I can able to deliver exceptional results, and along with that, I can able to take the additional responsibilities onto my hand so that I can able to give all my work effectively. And then on, I'll be working with your company if you can able to give me an opportunity. I'll be contributing myself, and I'll be taking an opportunity to grow along with the company, and and I'll be promising you that I'll be continuously learning, and I'll be evolving as per the company's requirement and as per the company's needs. So these are my things. So you can able to. So as long as I can able to learn all these, as long as I can able to learn all these things by along. by taking a partnership or by taking a or by making a relationship i'll be giving all my services to your company so these are my answers that i really wanted to give you so you can have you will be having a question ma'am this is the only answer that we need to give so we don't need to buy hard this one no no need to buy hard the thing is you can able to prepare your own answer and if you can able to prepare your own answer so you'll be able to remember more and you can able to perform very effectively so that is the thing i just always want you to prepare your own answer so this was my answer so if you have any doubts look at that one one more time try to watch the video one more time don't forget to subscribe magnet q software and if you want me to post some more videos regarding any questions that you have any kind of doubts please comment me down in the comment box and i'll be letting you know for tomorrow class what i'll be able to teach So don't forget to subscribe thank you all